so fall is right around the and so what does fall usually mean to people yeah the leaves change colors it gets a little bit chillier out there yeah you know thanksgiving's right around the corner football season starting but no we're gonna focus on the other great part of american life and that is the tv schedule that comes out in fall and we're about to be full swing with tv shows they've taken their summer hibernation they've gotten us some new episodes and we're about to jump right into things so i just wrote a list now there's a lot here and i probably missed some so don't hate me for missing some uh but these are the ones i'm gonna be paying attention to it has some new ones has some returning old ones and yeah it's just what i'm looking forward to so let's start it off now i did say fall so I kind of didn't quite include fall because I, I did September through October. I guess parts of November are technically fall, but yes. I'm not including them. I'm not including them. If you, it has to be premiering September through October. What about right and now? And I know I already missed premiered one. Premiered right now. Like, uh, so let's start it off with September 2nd. That is when Narcos Season 2 comes out on Netflix. If you didn't watch the first season, I don't know why. You're crazy. You need to go out and watch it now. It is a great tv show so check it out um then on september 8th we have very interesting i'm not quite sure where it'll go but i could see it be done very very well it's called atlanta it's by fx they just tend to do good shows good and gritty shows and that's what this one seems like it's going to be then on september 8th 11th and 12th no i'm not talking about american idol that comes out on those days i don't know if it does i just made that up i thought I'm they ended about... american idol uh, they hopefully they did they don't need it anymore but but this this premieres all three days of that week, or I guess it circles into the next week. But September eighth, eleventh, and twelfth, um, I'll be glued to my TV. For football is finally coming back, so I'm excited about that. Everybody loves football, and if you don't, why? Why? Yeah, everyone likes football. If you don't like the football we're talking about, American football, you probably like the other football. There you go. And it's just so universal. We call it. But then we have on September 14th, we have Blind Spot returning to NBC, I believe, for season two. It was a pretty intriguing show. A lot of people really enjoyed it. And so I'm going to say watch it. Check it out if you haven't. And if you haven't seen it, it'll probably be on Netflix within eight days. I believe that's their kind of thing they have going with NBC. They put up the stuff eight days before they premiere or something like that or after they premiere or something like that for the new season. Then as well, on September 14th, we have season six of American Horror Story. That's just a cool show. I like the way they change it up every year. They go to some different location. It's not just a continuation of the same story. They kind of they kind of throw a curveball at you every year, they, and they have different themes. So I'm looking forward to what it'll be this year. Then on September 16th, and this is not because it was good. I don't know how this show is still on the air, and Z Nation is coming back to Sci-Fi Channel. Like, what the hell, Sci-Fi? Because everyone watched it. I don't know. I guess it's like people who watch Sharknado. You just don't mind watching horrible stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> then on September 19th, we have a return of one of my favorite shows on TV, and that's Gotham for season three. Can't wait to see the rogues gallery that we're going to be getting out of there. So that's on Fox. Check out September 22nd, Blacklist Returns. If that is a show you have not caught up on yet, the first two seasons are on Netflix. I believe the third season will be out not too far from now. And try to get ready for that fourth season because that is a spectacular show. James Spader is perfect in that role, and it just has enough suspense and intrigue um, to keep you coming back every week for more. So I, I really have thoroughly enjoyed that. Uh, then on September 23rd, now I haven't heard a lot about this show yet, but it does sound interesting. It's Van Helsing on Sci Fi, so it's a sci fi show. It could go the way of like Dark Matter and Ascension and be good, or it could go the other way the z nation way so hopefully it'll go the good way and there's another one i'm missing there was a really good sci-fi sh show i can't remember um but then on september 30th we have luke cage coming out on netflix definitely gonna check that out definitely gonna give you guys a review of that one when that comes out because that it looks amazing can't wait for the next of the defenders quatrain yeah quatrain not not trilogy quatrain um to come out then on October 2nd, we have Westworld coming out on HBO. We did a little segment about that. That show looks like it'll be spectacular. It'll kind of hold me over a little bit while I'm waiting for my Game of Thrones to come back. Just everything about that show looks awesome. Um, and then October 4th, we have Flash coming out. And then the next day, we have Arrow coming back. So we'll see season three and I believe season five, respectively, of those start. And then on the 13th, which is kind of weird that they're starting out a week later, 
um because it really works with all those we have legends of tomorrow now i know i'm missing supergirl somewhere in there she's part of the new cw super, superhero slate so we'll see that come out but we have season two of legends of tomorrow and then on october 23rd this is probably has the biggest following of any of the tv shows except for maybe football that i talked about and that's the walking dead returns with season seven i want to say so that's been on the, sh the air a good long time i'm sure a lot of people are, are looking forward to that but brendan out of that list of shows i just ran ran through what show would you watch most likely if you ever watched things ever uh probably i don't know narcos because it's on netflix and Not no, actually, you know what? Uh, I I have a better one. A blacklist is probably what I would watch because I've been thinking about watching that anyway. Cause... And you should. I mean, if you haven't gotten into that show, it is spectacular. The first two seasons are riveting. I really love everything: acting, directing. It, just, it's, it, the characters are well developed. It plot. sounds just, like the kind of show I'd get into anyway. So yeah, it, it it really it's it's pretty exciting TV. So you should check that out. But well, hit us up. Let too. us know what show on that list do you most want to see return. Or which show on that list do you want to jump into the most? So hit us up, let us know, comments down below, of course, at Words My Face on Twitter. Google us on Facebook. Oh, good way. Good way.